Hi everybody, it's Dr Biology here and this is for GCSE Combined Science and this is Biology and it's higher tier, paper one and paper two and most importantly this is the advanced material for 2022 so I'm going to go through all the things you need to know. So just some quick information. So the advanced material sent by AQA several weeks ago, uh, just to remind you, the structure of the exam is going to be exactly the same. Paper one and paper two, exactly the same um, comp type of uh, questions that you you would expect. Uh, what is different is, though, that they're going to tell you what the major focus to topics are. So you're probably wondering, what does that mean? Well, that means where most of the marks can be obtained. So major focus topics are really important. Uh, they're going to tell you what required pract practicals will be assessed and also they're going to tell you what the minor focus topics are as well which are very important because um, even though they'll get lower marks they could get you over that extra level higher level um, and then finally topics that will not be assessed so these are the things you do not need to revise which are very important you might hear your teachers talk about specification codes. This comes from a document um, on the AQA webpage. If you to type in GCSE combined science specification, you would get the spec. And the spec shows you all the kind of content in your GCSE. And then it talks about um, the different spec codes. There we go. Um, I have kind of in a checklist in my website, um, I've kind of Put all that information down for you. Right, so let's have a look to see what's in your exam and what isn't in your exam. So the first thing to state is, is here I've got a summary. So on the left here are all the different topics. Then could be in the paper, so a small number of marks, that's the minor focus. The major focus, which is really important, where most of the marks are. The required practicals you will need to know very well. And then quite interesting the topics not assessed and you'll see there's quite a lot not being assessed in higher tier combined science so let's just go through cells so for example um, there'll be a major focus on mitosis cell cycle stem cells but there'll be very little on cell structure specialization and differentiation there'll be no uh, questions on microscopes so that would include how to use a microscope and also the calculations related to magnification, for example. And a whole uh, subunit of work is not going to be there, which is diffusion, which is gas exchange as well, uh, active transport and osmosis. Going on to organisation, you can see you're going to be asked a lot of questions on digestive and enzymes, the heart, the components of blood, so parts of blood, the blood vessels, cancer, coronary heart disease, health and risk factors. So this is quite a large section of work. And in fact, I'll summarize it in one sentence, revise all the stuff related to animals and humans and don't revise the plant stuff because it's not going to be there. So translocation, uh, transpiration, organ systems, um, not going to be there. There are quite a lot of required practicals in this section. So food tests, so that's the Benedict's test for sugars, Burette test for proteins, the emulsification test for lipids, and then also the effect of pH on amylase. So for my group, that was related to, if you remember, we um, looked at how quickly uh, amylase broke down um, starch into sugars, and we used iodine to show us that uh, reaction. Um, then infection and response. And you can see there's no major focus whatsoever. There are large proportions not going to be in there. So viral, fungal, protist diseases, that will mean bacterial diseases are in it. Also vaccinations, antibiotics, painkillers and drug development. Minor focus, but still important. Nothing on human defence against disease. So nothing about white blood cells, nothing about... Um, uh, how you defend yourself from uh, pathogens. Now, bioenergetics, as you'll see, it's mainly photosynthesis. So limiting factors, the required practical with light intensity and pond weed, but very little on respiration. There will still be some 
on respiration, but not as much. And you'll see there's nothing on uses of glucose for photosynthesis and nothing on responses to exercise. Here is the, this is from AQA, so the exam board, so it shows you what will be in it, what required practicals will be it, but what's not in it as well. Again, um, on my website, I'll show you in a minute, I've got a checklist that can help you through that. And the checklist does not include the assess parts, which is quite useful. Right. Oh, this looks very, very sparse indeed. Um, so this is your paper two. There's three units that you're going to be um, examined on. Notice homeostasis and response is pretty kind of heavy here. So you've got all the hormones, blood glucose, insulin, glucagon, type 1 and 2 diabetes, menstrual cycle, IVF feedback systems, but nothing on the nervous system or contraception. Variation, inheritance and evolution, very sparse. You can see there's no major focus. So literally, the only thing you're going to need to do is look at meiosis and classification. There we go. So pretty much everything, the vast majority is not in there for you guys. So this is a very quick uh, topic to revise. Then ecology, food chains, carbon and water cycles, biodiversity, waste management, global warming maintaining biodiversity and then the required practical this is the only required practical in paper two they're going to examine you on wow so it's looking at if you might remember using quadrats to estimate populations transects as well there is nothing on adaptations land use or deforestation so you still need to revise quite a big section of ecology quite a big section of homeostasis and response but very little in variation inheritance evolution so here again is the topics not assessed, the topics that will be assessed. Again, I will show you that in a checklist that I have. And this is the checklist. So this will, this is on my website. So it's on um, drbiology.uk. And you can see I've highlighted the major focus. So this is cell biology. So notice I haven't included transport across membranes so i've only included the things you're going to be examined on so the stuff that's not highlighted is low kind of minor focus the stuff i have highlighted is major focus so you can use that for your revision so you keep on tabs keep on target of exactly what you need to revise for your exams there we go that's the website drbiology.uk hope you found this really useful um Please do keep subscribed and I will see you soon.